Okay, boys and girls, we haven't had a week or so, and uh, so this is Ray from the Waldo household and uh, offering a view of what's in bloom today. I didn't uh, pick my vegetables this morning, I'll pick them this afternoon. My neighbor, Wanda Ledoux, was so gracious to allow me to go over and pick her blueberries, and I picked about two gallons of blueberries. It took me about three hours, but uh, well worth it. And uh, so these are the things that are blooming today. And uh, in my favorite little space down this walkway. And, uh, so there's, I think that's petunias, I think if I remember right. And some of these daylilies are getting kind of old. They're dying away. Uh, these little things, they're small, but they're real pretty. And... Uh, so some of the things are, are going away and others things are coming along. Uh, this, this is a beautiful day lily here. And it stayed and stayed and stayed. And uh, this one is a couple of days old, so it's kind of smearing, kind of messing up. It doesn't look as good as it did. And uh, these Aztecs have uh, kind of gone away. They're just about gone. But here is the show of the day. This hibiscus is absolutely gorgeous. Is that beautiful or what? Two, three huge blooms. I mean, can you see how large those things are? Just beautiful. And just to give you an idea, <laughs> there's my finger there. So uh, you can see how big they are. And just huge blooms. And of course, these little daylilies here are pretty. And uh, these are triple, I think, triple daylilies, and just huge blossoms on these things, I just don't know how, and of course the, uh, what do we call them, I used to call them snowball plants, I don't remember what they call them, and we've got one of these things coming along, uh, I forgot what they're called to, Viv is the flower memory person, and uh, I just wanted to show you what was blooming, what it looked like, and uh, of course, some of the garden's going away. I'm watering this morning. A little bit late to be watering, but uh, I had other things to do, picking blueberries. And, uh, oh yeah, and uh, I just finished my uh, architectural fence to kind of give some separation from the garden and the yard. And uh, you can kind of see how that looks there. It's just it's a nice little fence. Three panels of three, uh, three sections of three panels. Oh, and here's a crepe myrtle that's blooming. Uh, they'll be coming along pretty soon. That's one of the first ones I've seen. And the white one bloomed real early, but uh, ours didn't do very well. Now let's see if there's anything around front. I'll stop uh, if there isn't. Otherwise, we'll be moving along pretty quickly. All right, here's the bedroom side, and uh, we've got a, a little rose. It's doing pretty. Uh, it's not beautiful, but uh, it's, it's there. All right. More hibiscus. And these are large. This one's not blooming. Uh, can you hear my fountain? Uh, I have a water feature around here. It needs water, but uh, it just runs water in there all the time. All right. Well, let's uh, walk out here to the flower beds, and uh, this one doesn't have anything just really extraordinary showing, but it's pretty. Mm -hmm. Then this one over here, we've got a few things going here. These are kind of pretty, and uh, again, I forget what Viv said they were. Uh, okay, and then... These are the, uh, gosh, I've forgotten the name of everything this morning. Uh, hollyhocks, pink, and there's a bright red one over there. Maroon, actually. I'll bring around the right light. This bed I shaped into a kidney shape. And it's our prettiest bed. Uh, 
they've planted it well. And it doesn't have as good a dirt in it as the uh, some of the others, but it still does really well. And then here's the the other hollyhock. hollyhock. Okay, well that's uh, that's pretty much it this morning, and I hope you have a great day. Bless to the Lord. Bye.